Hi, I'm Mark Stevens, author of Government and Died to Website, markstevens.net. Really don't like doing videos like this, uh, especially with some, when it involves somebody who was on my show eight years ago. But I haven't had contact with this guy in those eight years. And uh, out of the blue, he contacted me about Joe in Hawaii. Uh, I had posted the, uh, the article about Joe's dismissal. We also have a video, uh, which incidentally has proof you know, that Calvin and I are not the same person. Uh, so check that out at markstevens.net. But um, Barry Cooper uh, didn't contact me before posting the video. And you know, you know, when you have condemnation prior to investigation, you're going to have problems. That's why I'm saying, could Barry Cooper be any more wrong about me? I, well, I, I don't know. I, probably not. Uh, so I want to go through as quickly as possible because I really don't like doing videos like this. Uh, so the only, and the only reason why I'm doing it is because somebody may be misled by Barry. The, 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 the false claims he's making about me, some people may actually be misled by that stuff. So that's why I'm doing this. So I'm going to try to go through as quickly as possible because he's so wrong, it's really easy to demonstrate just how wrong he is. So there's 11. Uh, one, I'm part of the sovereign citizen Freeman common law groups. Yeah, that's right. Uh, two, I'm crazy. Three, I only tell the judge he has no jurisdiction. Uh, there's nothing about challenging the prosecutor's burden. Uh, four, throwing someone in jail proves the Constitution applies. Yeah, he said that. Uh, my work and my jurisdictional challenge has absolutely never worked. Only reason that tickets do get kicked out is because we're too much trouble. There's no other explanation permitted. Not to Barry, anyway. So think about that. Only one explanation only. Okay. I lied about Joe in Hawaii's dismissal and that I presented no evidence for my claim. I made an assumption where I flat out lied. I never helped get anything more than a minor traffic ticket kicked out. I'm hurting people teaching them my BS, you know, to challenge jurisdiction. I don't handle criticism at all, well at all, and I got angry at Barry. Uh, and I'm getting his argument all wrong. Well, he is wrong on every single count, so let's get to it. Okay, so let's go through this. Let's we'll start with number one. I'm part of the sovereign. <laughs> I'm part of the sovereign citizen Freeman common law groups. Yeah, uh, that's just Barry. You're wrong. There's no, no. There's just too much history on my website. You should have listened to at least one radio show before you made such a ridiculous uh, claim against me. False. I'm crazy. I'm crazy because I use logic, reason, and rely heavily on the Socratic method and that I believe that some, when someone makes an accusation, they should prove it with evidence. And I know the difference between direct evidence and circumstantial evidence and the difference between an inference and an assumption. So, uh, no, I'm not crazy. I'm pretty rooted in reality. Uh, no evidence that I'm crazy. Just a false claim because he didn't like. We'll get to what he didn't like. Uh, I, three, I only tell the judge he has no jurisdiction. Maybe I raise uh, straw man type uh, arguments and uh, the all caps name. Uh, no, you did wrong. Again, we use the Socratic method here on the No State Project, what I teach. And what every attorney I've ever spoken to about this agrees with Two of the three methods that I use. One, we are to zealously challenge the prosecutor or, or, or accuser's arguments. All of them. Two, we do not give any free passes to the prosecution. Three, keeping that in mind, we challenge the foundation of the prosecution's claim that their constitution and rules apply to us because we're physically in Arizona or wherever the hell we may happen to be. Uh, so we also use, so that, that's, that's the, and we also are only raising issues of fact, not issues of law. Okay, so uh, you're dead wrong with the way I do things. You couldn't be more wrong about how I do things, Barry. Do some research. You could have emailed, uh, anyway. Uh, you, um, so number three is dead wrong. We don't just tell the judge he has no jurisdiction. Unlike the sovereign citizen Freeman types, 
We're not raising legal interpretation. We're not making affirmative statements. In fact, if you listen to a show, you'll know that I say repeatedly, we don't make affirmative statements unless to say that the prosecution has not presented sufficient evidence. Uh, but you didn't listen to any of the shows. You didn't investigate on my website. Four, throwing someone in jail proves the court has jurisdiction. No, even if you don't have an anarchist, but you actually have a sovereign citizen, the fact that the judge throws someone in jail is not proof of jurisdiction. Do you know what it, that is a non sequitur. It's also an, an argumentum ad baculum. You don't prove that a written instrument from 200 years ago applies to someone today because a judge threw someone in jail. Okay. Uh, absolutely not true. Where have I heard that logical fallacy before? Scott Bales, Arizona Supreme Court Chief Justice. Okay, number four, uh, number five. My jurisdictional challenge has absolutely never worked. Well, here you're absolutely dead wrong, Barry. Uh, there you go. This is the IRS throwing it out for a jurisdictional challenge. It does say, based on the information you provided, which I have at marstevens.net with the article, that it was a jurisdictional challenge. So, number five, it absolutely has never worked. Dead wrong, Barry. Do some damn research. Six. The only reason tickets get kicked is because we're too much trouble. No other explanations are plausible. Well... Even scientists, hardcore scientists, don't say this only one, one explanation possible. Um, you're generalizing and you're assuming. And what he does is he assumes based on his prior experience. Now, I made an inference based on the circumstantial evidence. An inference and assumption are not the same thing. An inference is based on the circumstantial evidence before you. An assumption is based on the belief or prior experiences. So he draws from his experience as a cop saying, well, we had, a jur we had lost a probation issue on a jurisdiction, but it wasn't because we couldn't prove the laws applied. So what? <laughs> Unless they raise the exact same issue we did, it's completely irrelevant. So uh, we also have evidence here that the motion was granted. So that to say that the only reason tickets get kicked is because we're too much trouble, you're dead wrong, Barry. And even if you say it's because we're too much trouble, that does not mean the motion and defense were not the cause of the trouble and because they have merit. Because the prosecution has the burden of proof. The prosecution is supposed to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the Constitution laws apply because someone's in physically in Arizona. They can't do that with any actual proof. All they could do is argue. And there's not many people disputing me on that. All they could do is argue. They can't actually prove it. So, yes, it's too much trouble for the prosecution because they can't give what they do not have. And what they don't have is evidence proving the Constitution applies to anybody because of our physical location. So, seven, six is wrong because you're generalizing and because we've got direct evidence against you. Uh, seven. I lied about Joe's dismissal. I presented no evidence. That's not true. I presented the motion. I presented a discovery request. I, I presented uh, the fa Joe's actual testimony, first-hand testimony about what he did. And I went based on the circumstantial evidence. I made an inference. I didn't guess. I didn't make an assumption based on nothing. I went based on Joe's testimony and the actual evidence before me. So even if I'm wrong on my inference, because there are other explanations, not as strong as that it was Joe's defense, doesn't mean I lied. Lying is trying to deceive somebody. Uh, no, I went based on the evidence. It's not hidden. It's right there on the website. And Joe testified to it. So we all may be wrong. Joe and I may be wrong. We didn't lie. We're going based on the damn evidence. Eight, I've never helped get anything more than a minor traffic ticket kicked out. Let's go back to the IRS evidence. That is a hell of a lot more serious than a minor traffic ticket. And we've got Rebecca in Chandler who got a DUI, a not guilty, on two of the charges she got a not guilty verdict. So that's a little more serious than a minor traffic. Uh, so uh, you're dead wrong about that too, Barry. Uh, number nine, I'm hurting people. 
I'm hurting people teaching them my BS. Uh, you'll notice Barry doesn't present one single fact to back that up. He's assuming that. In fact, it's not even assuming, he's just lying. I have, there's no evidence that I've hurt anybody with what I'm teaching. Uh, absolutely not. Uh, even, uh, there, even if we talk about Terry in, in, in Michigan, that wasn't because I taught him that. That's because the judge is a raving psychopath. Asking a question, even if it is not rooted in any kind of uh, rationale, it's not reason to put someone in jail. Okay? Uh, <laughs> I don't handle criticism well, and I got angry at Barry. Well, let's examine that for a second. He says I'm crazy. He says I'm hurting people. He's claiming that there's no merit to what I'm selling, yet he wants to collaborate with me. So I asked him why he would want to do that, and he told me to go F myself, not once, not twice, three times, and then with somebody else, he started laying into the, uh, laying into, he started with the homosexual slurs. So, and then he cut communication with me. So he's so open to discussion, he told me never to contact him again. Well, uh, I won't. And you're not welcome to call into my broadcast, Barry, or uh, I will just hang up on you. Uh, I, I, I didn't seek you out, you sought me out, and when you tell me to F myself three times, make home, and then homosexual slurs, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much done with you as far as communicating. So the eight years just wasn't long enough between our <laughs> communication. I didn't get angry. He's the one that told me to go F myself. Uh, the last one, I'm getting his argument wrong. Well, let's go to the screen cap again for his video. And what does it say? Oh, yeah. Beware, common law defense is crazy. I don't do the common law defense, but he still lumped me in, and I'm the only one he named in the video. I am the only one. There were so many he could have named that were actual sovereign citizens and freemen on the land types, but he names me, and I'm the anarchist. So when you're saying that my defense is crazy, I don't think I've gotten your argument wrong. I think, I, I, I think what's wrong, and what couldn't be more wrong, are Barry's claims against me. So just to summarize, I'm not part of a, you know, a sovereign citizen common law group, anarchy. See, I reject the concept of a ruling class, okay? Uh, and I don't believe that it's okay to lie, steal, and kill and cheat other people just because you call yourself a government, of which Barry is a former cop. Uh, I'm not crazy. There's no evidence to suggest I'm crazy. Just because someone disagrees with you doesn't mean that they're crazy. And just because I, you question their motive, doesn't mean they're crazy. But Barry says that I don't accept criticism very well. Well, I don't, well, okay. Uh, I don't only tell the judge he has no jurisdiction. We used uh, the Socratic method of, of asking questions. I don't, uh, throwing someone in jail doesn't prove that uh, a uh, written instrument from 200 years ago applies to them. Uh, absolutely has never worked. You're dead wrong, Barry. Evidence and if you go to markstevens.net, you'll see evidence after evidence after evidence of this. Uh, listen to the show and have people and listen to the call of shames. Um, only reason tickets get out? No, you're generalizing. I lied about Joseph Smithsel. No, I made an inference based on the available evidence and eyewitness testimony. Uh, not lying. I never helped get anything more than a minor traffic ticket kicked out. Again, we've got the IRS. Uh, I'm hurting people. No evidence whatsoever for that. I don't handle criticism and I got angry. No, I didn't tell you to go F yourself three times and cut communication. Uh, I'm getting your argument wrong. No, again, you think that I'm a common law sovereign citizen guy and that is crazy. Okay, so to, to end this video, uh, the question is, could Barry Cooper have been more wrong about me? And the answer is he decided, <laughs> oh my gosh, an overwhelming, no, Barry, you couldn't have been any more wrong about me. That is the importance of doing your research before you uh, criticize someone. Know what you're talking about. If someone's an anarchist, you really shouldn't be accusing them of being a sovereign citizen. And if someone's using a Socratic method, you really shouldn't tell, uh, <laughs> tell tall tales that they're actually just making affirmative statements as a defense. Come on, do a little bit better than that. Uh, if anyone disagrees with what I presented here, uh, you're more than welcome to call into the live broadcast. However, I do have one... Uh, exception to that, uh, Barry Cooper is not welcome to call the show.
If he calls, he will be politely uh, hung up on. And uh, that's because he contacted me after all these years. I didn't seek you out. Um, uh, and told me to go F myself three times. And told me never to communicate with him again. So, there you go. Uh, if, you want to if you want to criticize a video, post your own video. But, you know, I, I, you know do whatever you want. I don't care. Uh, but if you tell lies about me, if you make false claims that I'm a sovereign citizen, things like this, I will respond in kind and show where you're wrong again. So every time you make a false claim against me, I'll present evidence where you are dead wrong. Again, uh, all are welcome for to call the broadcast and show where I'm wrong and present your evidence, except for Barry Cooper. And uh, we're live every Saturday from 4 to 7 Eastern Standard Time. And the website is markstevens.net.